Hello everyone and welcome to this coffee review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a Brazilian coffee called Moinho Finho. So this is a coffee that I got as a present from one of my Brazilian friends as I have a special interest in Brazil and Brazil is the largest coffee producer in the world then this is something that I enjoy doing, trying different types of coffee from different parts of Brazil. This is the premium version of Moinho Fino. This is produced in a city called Aparecida de Goiânia in the state of Goiás. So that's right kind of in the center of Brazil really. Yeah, it doesn't actually say where the coffee beans were grown, but I'm assuming that they were grown in Goyas, which is where this company is based. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. I haven't tried it before. It's my first time with this brand. I've tried lots of other types of coffee brands in Brazil and Brazilian coffees here in England as well. Another quick look at this packet. I've just noticed a few details. It's actually got the Perfil de Sabor, which is the taste profile. Yeah, here we can see that it's 100% Arabica. It's got an intense aroma, an intense flavor. The body is encorpado, which means like a strong body. And it's got moagem fina. So this is finely ground coffee. And the roast is dark. Okay, so obviously that's going to influence the flavor and the taste of the coffee. It's going to have that slightly more bitter flavor. I know in Brazil the the coffee is generally more bitter than what we're used to in the UK so yeah I'm expecting that to be the case. Also on the back it has recommendations for preparation on Melier Cafe Sifaisa Sings so the best coffee you make it like this and here they recommend a filter coffee so that's what I am going to do today. I generally use my French press which is my favorite type of making coffee but as this is Brazilian coffee, I'm going to make it the Brazilian way, which is filter coffee with, you know, the papers and the filters. So I actually really like the design of the packet here. It's got one of these old fashioned hand grinders that you don't really see anymore. It's very old, this machine. Just got the countryside. It's got a coffee farm in the background. So you can see that this is a kind of rustic style of coffee so yeah really interesting packet i really like that so i'm just going to cut this open now mm. wow it smells really strong which is good which is what we want i don't know if you can see inside here yeah so it is very dark yeah it just smells amazing it smells like fresh coffee which is what you want so what I normally do is I normally put my coffee into a container once I've opened these packets, which is how they recommend it. They do recommend that you put these packets in the fridge, which we don't normally do in the UK, but I think in Brazil they do because it's obviously a lot warmer, it's a lot hotter in Brazil. So yeah. You can see how finely ground this coffee has been. So it's obviously industrially ground. This hasn't been ground by hand, obviously, but it is very fine. It's like a very fine powder. I'm gonna be using my coffee papers and my special coffee filter today to make the coffee. I'm going to make it just in this little pot. So these are disposable coffee filter papers and I find these are the best. Yeah, so these are great because it means that you don't get any of the sediment or bits or pieces of coffee in your drink, which is the main advantage of actually using this method to make coffee. This is kind of how they do it in Brazil. They do have espresso and stuff like that as well, don't get me wrong, but this is definitely the most common way of doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna go and boil the kettle and come back and start brewing my coffee. I've actually just spilled milk all over the table, so yeah, such are the joys of filming at home. So I'm going to prepare my filter now, and all I'm going to do is just to wet the actual filter. So this has the job of warming the filter up and warming the jar up, so that when the actual coffee goes in there it's not cold, basically. 
and also the paper is wet and therefore it will create a better sort of quicker filter if you see what I mean when we actually come to put the coffee in so this is literally just to wet the sides to actually get the jar and the filter and the paper ready I don't know if you can see that once you've done that you just pour away that water into a container because obviously you don't need that now because you're going to fill the jar up with coffee. Now you need to put your coffee in. So last time I did a review like this, I was doing the Caboclo Extra Forage Coffee. I put five teaspoons of coffee and it was actually too much because the coffee was too strong and I was bouncing off the walls and pretty much stayed up all night because it was too much caffeine. So today I'm going to put four teaspoons and I think that should be enough, but obviously put in as many teaspoons as you like. Yeah, okay, so that will be enough. Just see here how much coffee I've put in. And now it's just a matter of filling this up with the hot boiling water and letting it filter through into the jar. So it's important to make sure you wet all of the coffee when you pour in the hot water over it so all of the powder gets absorbed into the water, if you see what I mean. So yeah, you can just see that there filtering away. And this will only take a few minutes, I think. Yeah, and I can smell the coffee. It smells really good. It smells quite dark, which is what I'm expecting from, you know, what was written on the packet. And I'm just gonna fill it up a tiny bit more now. So like I said, this is the kind of preferred way of making coffee in Brazil. So they quite often make a flask in the morning like this with a filter and then they drink small cups of coffee throughout the day. I think this is quite a common brand. I think you can buy this in supermarkets in Brazil all over the country. But the fact that it's from Goiania is slightly different because most coffee companies are kind of based in Sao Paulo or in Minas Gerais or Rio de Janeiro. So this is a slightly different company, which is good because I like trying different things. All right, so you can see the jar is getting quite full now and that will definitely be enough for me to just try it. And of course, I'm using my favorite cup, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Mmm, smells brilliant, smells amazing. Very rich smell. Mmm, quite dark. Yeah, it smells amazing actually, it smells really good. And I am just gonna add a tiny bit of milk because that is the way that I do have my coffee. Just gonna give this a really quick stir. And now, for the tasting. Mmm, nice. Yeah, really good. Yeah, so it's very strong, very dark. So in Brazil, they would probably drink this black, which is kind of how most people drink it, normally with sugar, actually. But yeah, it's very full-bodied. It's got those dark notes, it's got the very strong roasted notes, which I absolutely love, that's really interesting. Yeah, very strong. I can imagine this being a good breakfast coffee to give you energy in the morning, to get you going. Yeah, absolutely delicious, really strong, and the overwhelming flavor is that of the dark roast, and the, the fineness of the grind means that it lends itself quite well to this kind of preparation of the coffee. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Really, really good.
So I definitely recommend this Moinho Fino Premium Style. I know they do other types of coffee. Moinho Fino, they do extra forage, they do extra strong and that kind of thing. But this is the one that I got as a present from my friend. So I'm really grateful to be able to try this. But yeah, definitely give it a try and see what you think. Don't take my word for it, give it a go yourself. So if you would like to see another coffee review that I have done, I will put a link to that now. That was a coffee called Cafe Caboclo Extra Forge. And that was also really good. As you can tell, I enjoy trying coffees from Brazil. If you like dark roast coffees, then this is gonna be up your street. Brazil is the largest coffee producer in the world. It produces over 50% of the world's coffee supply. So yeah, this is one of their main products that they export all over the world. And this is just a really nice quality coffee that you can share with your friends and your family and that kind of thing. So thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content that might be up your street. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.